Good morning and welcome to this morning's children's talk from Providence Baptist Church. This morning we are continuing the story of Saul the Pharisee from the Acts of the Apostles in the New Testament section of the Bible bookcase. We've heard about how Saul began by persecuting the church but then on the road to Damascus he met with Jesus and was blinded for a time before being brought healing by a follower of Jesus named Ananias. Saul later had to escape from Damascus by being let down the city wall in a basket. He went to Jerusalem. From there he was sent to his hometown of Tarsus in Cilicia in what is today Turkey. Now I had thought that the disciples went from Cyprus to Antioch but I realised that what we are actually told is that disciples scattered by the persecution went to Antioch and some of them, originally from Cyprus and Libya, shared the good news of Jesus with the Gentiles there. Barnabas was sent from Jerusalem to Antioch to investigate and he fetched Saul from Tarsus to help him. The Holy Spirit directed the believers, who were first called Christians in Antioch, to set apart Barnabas and Saul for a particular work. They went down from Antioch to the coast to Seleucia, and from there they got a ship to Cyprus. Arriving in Cyprus, in Salamis, they then travelled through the towns proclaiming the good news and they came at last to Paphos in the west of Cyprus. There they met the proconsul Sergius Paulus and an attendant of his who was called Bar-Jesus and also called Elymas. Now it may be that he'd adopted the name Bar-Jesus to claim that he was somehow Jesus' heir, or it may simply be that Jesus, or Joshua, Yeshua, meaning Jehovah saves, being a common name amongst the Jews, that was simply his name. In any case, he was a sorcerer and false prophet. Then Saul confronted Elymas and denounced him, and perhaps, remembering what Jesus had done to him, proclaimed the same judgment of temporary blindness on him. The proconsul was amazed at all he heard and saw, and he believed. We will have more of the story of Saul, who about this time was also called Paul, which I understand means small and probably reflects Paul, Paul's sense of humility before God. We'll have more of his story next week. Thank you for listening.